You know, it's amazing to think about how much access we have to information these days. And this provides a lot of great and really cool opportunities, such as learning about other Christians and ministries who are spread across the world, even in a place like Albania. If you don't know where Albania is, neither did I until I went to the perfect source, Google Earth. Albania is a small country just south of Serbia and east of Italy. And while it is half across the world, even here in my apartment in Kentucky, I had the opportunity to read and learn of this ministry called Life Spring Church, which is in Albania. And it's being run by a man named Alban, who has a Christian mission to spread the gospel to this country. So in this video, we're going to get a inside look into what this ministry is like and what Alban is doing there in Albania. Hi to uh, one day Christian listeners. I am Alban Delco. I'm a co-pastor in the Spring of Life, Albasan. And this is my colleague. My name is Sean Carney, uh, and I am privileged to work with Alban. So how do you know uh, Ezra Byer? Oh, yeah. It was uh, uh, December, cold December in 2015, when me and my family very uh, recently, we, at that time, we moved to Canada. And I was praying for a time to see a church where I could I would see God's direction for a church. I remember one day morning, we were coming out of this grocery store, all my family, and here comes this guy, uh, Ezra, to invite us to this church for our children to take a toy. And I felt that uh, that was where God was leading me. And it was fairly a small church, maybe a church plant at that time. But and though I had other invitation to be in other more big subtle church, I, I felt the, the call of God to serve there as much as I could. So there I knew Ezra for two years by staying in Canada. And now you're, you're in a church plan. Uh, how did that start? How did you get into that? After I came to Albania, as I, as I told you, I stayed in Canada for two years. Uh, I saw Ezra and other people trying to plant a church. And I think God put something in my heart for church planting since that time. And um, somehow I felt God's call in my heart for serving in Albania and church plant because there is a lot of need in um, Albania. What would you say is at the heart of our ministry? People who are going to meet Jesus, people who are going to uh, open their hearts to Jesus and repent and believe in Him and, and be changed, life transformed. And not only people, but also this community. We want to transform. We want the gospel and the kingdom of God to come here and uh, yeah, a community who worships God and, and follows God and follows Jesus Christ. Yeah. If you were to think about like an average week of yours or month, like what, what does that week look like? What do we do? Yeah, like uh, you know, Daniel. Actually, if you say just I'm a pastor or I'm doing this, people won't uh, relate with you. So uh, we try to work hard during the week to get connections with people. And one way we have got, as you know, like we have opened this English uh, language center. It's mostly English, German, and math courses. So many students uh, from the area here. Uh, do you want to show me around just really quick? Show me yes, yes. where we do some of these things? Here's our main room that we do. And um, on Sundays we have the church here. The space is filled with maybe 40, 50 people. Then we, to connect with people, we have also English and German courses. And I'm going to show you in the classroom. Uh, some of our classrooms that we have. This is one of our courses, English courses that we have. Okay. Okay. And also during the week, we have also children's ministry. You know, we do children's ministry here and around maybe 20, 20 children come each week. And we do crafts, we do games, also we share stories about Jesus and the gospel. And we try to reach their parents. Here's some food for a uh, families who are poor and yeah and we try to help them as much as we can during the week and then we use this space as well for uh, um, for people who are visiting us actually this uh, weekend the DPS team is going to come here and uh, they're going to stay here and they're going to help us with uh, uh, sharing the gospel and it's going to help us with our uh, ministry that we have here so we have a 
church on Sunday, kids ministry, teens ministry that we do in the classrooms. Sometimes also uh, we do this Bible study uh, for Gospel of Mark in the classrooms. So this is basically what we do. Going forward, um, do you feel like you have a vision for where the ministry is going? What's on the horizon? Well, I'm very excited about the future and I see a community worshiping, worshiping God and um, in the moment we are trying to purchase this old building because we are renting that. Also, since we would like to have connection with people and uh, help a bigger community, we want to raise a bakery here and maybe a kitchen, a soup kitchen, soup kitchen for people who are poor and then we can share the gospel and we can help them as well. So but I'm really excited about that in the future. I would say to Monday Christian listeners, please support us through your prayers or through even financial support if you want to be part of this. As Albon has already given many details of their ministry there in Albania, I don't want to speak for Albon, but there is a few takeaways that when I was just reading his story and some of the um, background behind why they're there, I was very inspired by a few different things. The main takeaway that I got is these people are dedicated to the Great Commission. Even in a place like Albania where Sean has chosen to go alongside Albon and encourage and help him in their ministry, that takes a specific calling and willingness to follow God's plan. And reading some of Albon's background and, and where they're at there in Albania, I noticed that he said about 1% of the population is evangelical Christian. He also said that 80% of the population are Muslim. And that shows a dramatic need for the gospel of Christ to go out to this nation. And leading from that, the last takeaway I gained is that there is people all across this world that God has created who are trying to spread the gospel of Christ, trying to take that Sunday belief, what we hear comfortably in our services some days and apply it to our everyday life. I think Albon sets a great example for all of us who are in our own countries, our own hometowns, our own churches, our own jobs, to go out and make disciples of many nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you would like to learn more about Albon and his ministry there in Albania, I'm gonna leave some details in the description below. Of course, as Albon has already mentioned, one of the best things we can do being here or wherever you are is to pray for them, to pray for ones who are doing the same thing that Albon and Sean are doing. With that being said, thank you all for watching so much. This has been The Monday Christian, and we'll see you in the next one. God bless.